Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the water sign readings and this will be for the lovely sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you on board. Um, please make sure that you tick the or click the bell because that will let you know when I'm posting or going live. I do go live every Wednesday at 12 p.m. on YouTube. Um, okay. If the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, don't be too disappointed. You can check out another reader, but I'd strongly advise that you go and check out your natal chart on Google. Um, some people have been emailing me about this. It's such a good idea. Um, all you need is your date of birth, but if you have your time of birth, that's really good too. So um, you can also download a report with planets that were in your chart the day you were born, which means that you can get to look at where your moon was, your rising was, or your Venus was. And that means that you can get a full of picture of who you are. Um, if the reading does resonate with you though, I do ask that you give it a thumbs up and help me to grow the channel. It's I'm very grateful for your support and I will say thank you to you in advance. Um, we're gonna use the Tarot Mucha, Mucha for your reading today. All right. Okay, so I have the Ten of Wands coming through here. The Ten of Wands is a card that talks about, it's like you've carried a lot of weight around with you for a long time. It's about carrying a lot of energy around that just is no longer serving you and you're ready to put it down here with the Ten of Wands. A lot of heavy weight. Could be problems, issues. You've got Ten Wands there, which means pretty much you've had a long journey you've got through the nine and you're still there and you're still carrying problems around it could be other people's problems as well it could be one problem that's just carrying a lot of weight with you but it tells me that you're completing some sort of cycle here and the universe is saying to you it's time to put this thing down you don't need to move on you don't need to take the ones into the next cycle wow so we have the Five of Pentacles, which is a card of feeling very low, very sad. I feel like some of you are really stuck in this energy. It's sort of like you're waiting to put the 10 down, but somehow or another, you may be fearful about moving to the next stage. So it could be that you're putting down, say, a relationship and you're fearful of moving forward. It could be that you are worried about leaving something behind because you're feeling like you might be left in the cold. So for me, this could be walking away from a relationship. Might not necessarily be romantic, but it's definitely time to put something down here. I feel like it's draining you. Yeah, see, let go. <laughs> so the Four of Pentacles is a card that says you need to let go of something. You are blocking your energy. You may be blocking your money flow. This could be a job for some of you. It could be um, a relationship as well, but it, it definitely says to me here with the Four of Pentacles that you've hung on for too long. This Ten of Wands is definitely getting too heavy. It's making you feel really depleted, sad, tired, maybe even a little depressed, but time to let it go. Okay, so we have action and movement here. All right, and we have, wow, that's really strong energy. Okay, so... There is something here that's going to help you move forward. So I feel like here the universe is, is trying to, you know how I always say with the tower, the universe only pokes you so many times with a stick and then it's time for you to let go of something, which you're doing in the tower. Now, it could be here, now looking at the tower, that this Ten of Wands is an old idea, an old way of doing things that you've clung on to for a really long time. And again, it may come back, say, for example, you've been in a job that you hate, but you were taught as a child you had to stay in the same job forever. Maybe you've been taught that divorce isn't the right thing to do. So you stay in a sad, miserable marriage. Whatever it is here, the universe is helping you move forward here. You're getting some sort of action happening. So something is happening to help you dislodge this old way of thinking, this old way of being, this energy of being trapped, all of these things are coming down in the tower and allowing you to rebuild. Because here we have the card of Scorpio, which is the card of death. So it's like you have to go through some sort of death here in order to be offered new life, new love. Okay, so if this is in regards to a relationship, they're saying to you here, there is new love on the other side of this. 
but you're hanging on to something feeling like you can't find new love that this is all there is for you um, you may be hanging on to the idea of being too old to find new love or you know you don't feel attractive to find new love it could be that you're in a job that's absolutely hideous here where you are stuck in the job feeling so unhappy and the universe is saying on the other side of the tower and death card lies a brand new opportunity for you but you have to let it go in order to move forward now a lot of people will hang on to things until something new comes in but that isn't happening this time. You've got to show the universe that you mean business by letting go of something and allowing something to come towards you. Sometimes we don't want to let go of something because we fear if we let go that we won't have another opportunity. And that is a really limited way of thinking about things. All right, so we have the Empress here. So the Empress is ready to birth something new. She is absolutely 100% ready. She's fertile. She wants to spring forward with new life. This is either new love waiting for you or a new job, some sort of opportunity waiting for you to just let go of that past thing. Okay, so we have the eight. There you go, walking away. Beautiful. I feel like you're doing some sort of research here. We do have the justice card. So the, the universe is saying to you, the time is right to let something go. I tell you what I get, as soon as I looked at this uh, page of swords, I started getting this energy that you may be seeking advice. If it's that you are in a relationship and you're worried about moving away because you're worried about your material possessions, then it shows me that you are seeking some sort of legal advice here. But for others of you, you may be seeking advice at work about moving away too. But I do see you looking at this justice card. So you're also, with these cards here coming out, you're releasing some sort of karma or some sort of old energy that's held you back. Whatever it is, it's making you very unhappy here. And I do see you removing this. And there's definitely a brand new start. Something beautiful coming in for you here with this Empress energy. You're definitely ready to walk away. It's just doing the walking away. So I see you seeking advice. The advice you're seeking could be support to go. You could be seeking counselling, um, you know, seeking some sort of support perhaps from other agencies or other people around you here because I see you telling people what's going on. I feel like for some of you this may be really heavy or very deep energy that you're trying to rid yourself of here. Let's have a look. Three of Wands being future focused. So this person is definitely waiting for something. You may be waiting for something before you can move on. Maybe it is something to do with the legalities here. But it's like you're actually waiting on news before you can move forward. Maybe you are waiting. There we go. Definitely waiting with the hanged man. Maybe you're waiting on some sort of news. That's why you're waiting on that knight of pentacles to come through. Maybe there's something you're doing here where you're doing it a little bit sort of underhand, like the seven of swords, where you're not really wanting people to know what's going on. Okay, so we have the moon card. So there's definitely secrets being held here. Let me just put some more cards out. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is really good with the Fool card. Wow, these are all major arcanas. You have two, four, six major arcanas here. And then we have the High Priest. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're definitely walking away from a marriage here. I feel like you're ready to have a new start. And I do feel the universe is saying it's time. But you're sort of in this energy here of waiting, especially with the moon card. It's like you're waiting for something to release you or to set you free. Let's have a closer look. You may be waiting on another person here. Um, I do see you holding something, wanting to let go. Something's making you very unhappy, but you're still clinging to it here. It's like you're waiting for some sort of maybe waiting for the person that you're going to be with to walk away from something but whatever's happening here there is a transformation and then comes a new offer here so it's possible you could be walking away from an old situation here to walk towards new love for some of you you don't see this new love yet but for others of you i'm feeling that maybe you've already got somebody on standby here 
Maybe you've been waiting for somebody to walk away from a relationship so they could be with you. That's what I'm thinking. I wonder if somebody isn't pregnant here, but moving towards the father of their child and maybe leaving something else behind. Not everything's been revealed here. I see you waiting for a reveal. You're waiting. You're sort of in a bit of a, a holding pattern at the moment. Are you in a holding pattern because your person's in a relationship too and you're both waiting to leave relationships to be together? Because the Wheel of Fortune does tell me, there's the offer there. The Wheel of Fortune does tell me that there is something waiting for you here. And with the High Priest here, I'm feeling, or the Hierophant, I'm feeling here that this is something to do with marriage. Either you're walking away from marriage, you're waiting for your person, you're waiting for some sort of communication to come through about somebody else walking away from a relationship as well. Now, it could be just you. It could be that you have somebody doing that. But both of those energies have, there's the star. Both of these energies have some sort of, for me, some sort of feeling that you've got new love waiting. So if you're about to walk away from a situation feeling like you may never find anybody again, I'm telling you there's somebody waiting for you on the other side of all this. For others of you, you know that person is waiting and you're trying to clear the path to be with them. Yeah, there's the clearing the path there with the tower. Um, and we do have the Hermit card. Look, this is all Major Arcana. Holy dooly, there's just nearly every card on the table is Major Arcana. All right, one more, thanks, Spirit. And we have the Devil card and it's Major Arcana. There is something here that you are moving away from. And for some of you, it could be a narcissistic marriage, narcissistic person. And you are moving towards someone here that is your destiny. Um, because we have this sort of energy coming through. Let's just put a couple more cards. I just want to find out what this devil energy is. I feel like you're walking away from a toxic situation. I feel like you're moving towards something really beautiful, but there is something toxic you're leaving behind. Okay, you could be moving towards a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're leaving something toxic behind here. I feel like it may be a narcissistic relationship. You may be dealing with somebody who's very controlling. Um... You could be dealing with another Scorpio here, but something you are leaving behind to move towards something new. Now, again, for some of you with this Empress energy, it may be some Nine of Cups. You're walking towards your wish. But you're definitely leaving something behind to move towards this Scorpio. Definitely. All right, let's pull you an Oracle card. All right, Council of Light, what is that all about? Help is in the subtle round. Oh, right, okay, so you're being divinely guided here. Um, so whatever you're doing here, they are trying to move you away from something to something. Um, divine orchestration. Help is in the subtle realm. So you may be walking away from, say, a, a toxic relationship towards someone who you're meant to be with because we have a lot of major arcanas in this reading whatever it is it's definitely a wish coming true i love that you've got the um empress card here i feel like you're ready the council of light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet they are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it's time to ask them. I feel like here that you are you are asking for some sort of help here to move away from something because it really, with that Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles energy in the beginning, there is a real feeling that you're finding it hard to walk away from some sort of situation. Now, you may not have anybody waiting for you, but I do see some information coming to light or some sort of information helping you move forward. And it does say here, with the work your light activation, I am ready to receive your help for fulfilling my personal dharmic mission. 
Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step. So I'm feeling like maybe for some of you, you're waiting for a sign from the universe to move forward. Whatever it is here that's coming to you, it will definitely help you. But I feel like for others of you here, I may be seeing you be waiting for some sort of sign from someone else enable to, that's going to enable you to move forward. So it's almost like there's a waiting period here because you're stuck in hanged man energy at the moment. But I feel like here you're definitely being guided by the universe here. All right, I will leave you with that. Thanks, Scorpio.